A weapon of mass destruction. Florida's Attorney General thinks fentanyl should be classified that way. Ashley Moody is joining a handful of politicians across the country demanding the president do more to stop the drug from coming into the country. And 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido explains what they're asking for and how a local crisis center is already answering the call. Tonight, the push to get the leading cause of overdoses in our community off the streets heightens. In just three years, our death rate has doubled. Jessica Webb, the executive director of Live Tampa Bay, the nonprofit fighting to curb opioid overdoses. She says fentanyl is being found in almost all forbidden drugs. It is 50 times more powerful than heroin and is often the most frequent cause of fatal overdoses in our community. In Tampa, seven people overdosed after taking marijuana laced with fentanyl last week. Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody has expressed her concern about the drug before. The latest estimate shows that Florida continues to lose 21 lives a day. Now she's joining a list of Republicans asking the president to call fentanyl a weapon of mass destruction. In her three-page letter, Moody says the drug could be weaponized, causing a mass casualty event. Mr. President. In a recent conversation with Mexico's President Andres Manuel López Obrador, President Biden acknowledged fentanyl is being trafficked across the border. We need every country in the region to join us in tracking this multi-billion dollar smuggling industry. Moody argues calling the deadly drug a weapon of mass destruction would reduce the amount of fentanyl flowing into the country. Do you believe that categorizing it as something like that, as a weapon of mass destruction, would be the right way to go and would help. I, I think that there's a strong argument to be made that it is a uh, bioterrorism. There is a global geopolitical strategy that could be helpful, but that's one part of the strategy. Webb says fair access to health care and services is also needed. In St. Pete, Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay. Leaders in Florida are doing their part to crack down on people who sell drugs laced with fentanyl. Earlier this year, Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill to increase penalties for dealers who are selling drugs that contain the deadly substance. All